Food recovery is not a new concept. Many food banks in BC and Canada run similar food recovery programs. Um, the Kamloops Food Bank Food Share Program rescues food from grocery stores, bakeries, and other food outlets and distributes it to their over 6,300 recipients, as well as supporting other agencies and schools in the community. The Loaves and Fishes Food Bank in Nanaimo has been very successful at recovering food as well. In fact, they have run out of warehouse space and they are now fundraising to build a new warehouse. Um, this uh, program also distributes food all over Vancouver Island and helps to sustain some of the smaller food banks. <coughs> Here in Golden, we've been recovering food in a number of different ways over the years. Um, last winter, we were lucky to rescue some, some much needed protein products off of a couple trucks that were not so lucky navigating through the canyon. We got about $5,000 worth of peanut butter that we're still just distributing today, as well as close to $7,000 worth of chicken and turkey products that lasted us well into the summer. Um, and then also many seasonal restaurants and lodges in the area will also donate perishable items at the end of their operating seasons. Um, and basically we wanted to expand on this. So with, we were inspired by these larger food programs and we had board members actually go and visit these centers and do some research. Um, and with some funding from CBT, we've started our food recovery pilot project. Um, our goals with this project are to reduce our food costs, increase the nutritional value of our hampers, as well as to reduce the amount of waste going into our community's landfill. In August, we began um, picking up food from Overweighty. Um, we've committed to daily pickups. Um, uh, grocery stores typically pull anything off their shelves that are within a few days of their best before dates, as well as anything that's damaged. Um, sometimes we'll get produce for, for example, a bag of apples, one is bruised, the rest are totally fine, so that, that the grocery store can't sell them, so we, we get it. All of the food is perfectly fit for consumption, and yet it's not fit for sale. This is a picture of our first pickup at Overweighty, and our second pickup the following day was pretty much the same. The amount and types of food that we pick up are, fluctuate from day to day. Some days we'll pick up five or six bins, other days it'll be a very small amount or one bin. Um, typically Sundays seem to be the biggest pickup day because that's when the dairy department goes through their the grocery store and pulls yogurt and milk and cheese and all that kind of stuff off the shelves and Sundays are the biggest days. So, um, Food Banks Canada has come up with guidelines um, for distributing food past its best before dates. These guidelines also take into consideration the Canadian Food Inspection Agency's guidelines for safe food handling and it assumes that the food bank handling the food has done everything it needs to do to make sure that that food is still fit for consumption. For example, food that needs to be refrigerated remains refrigerated and, and so on. Um, in the last two months, the food bank and our recipients have, been, have benefited greatly from this program. Um, we've rescued close to $15,000 worth of food so far since August and it's reduced our cost by about $2,500. Um, we're now able to provide our recipients with highly nutritious items such as milk, cheese, um, a variety of fresh produce, yogurt, um, and typically these would be too expensive for us to purchase. So as mentioned, this is a pilot project. Um, and it's a project, so it will end at some point. Um, we will need to uh, look for funding if we want to continue this, and, and we do because it's been fair. Was yes. the food just tossed <laughs> out the landfill before you? Uh, yes. Oh, goodness. Well done. Yes. Um, so we do, we, we, will, we, we will be looking for more funding to continue this program because it is such a benefit. Um, we have had to hire a delivery driver, Eddie, with Golden Junk is our delivery driver, so he picks up food every day and drops it off at the food bank. And then we've also had to hire a part-time employee as well to help with the intake, sorting, and storage of food. Um, we still rely heavily on donated staples such as uh, rice, flour, <coughs> pasta, and uh, donated non-perishables. And we also still require our regular shipments from Calgary. We, um, we get food shipped in from the Interfaith Food Bank in Calgary once every six weeks to a couple months, and the food recovery program hasn't hasn't stopped us from needing that. So, 
Um, we hope to, with this pro project, um, share our experiences with other smaller food, food banks as well so that they can use the benefit their recipients as well. And uh, yeah, that's everything. <laughs>